a king of consciousness. Heaven letter number 5980. April 9th, 2017. Aloha. Namaste. Greetings. Arrivederci. Au revoir. So long. Life in the world is made up of hellos and goodbyes. Temporary means there are beginnings and endings. In infinity, it's different. Everything is all at once. Infinity is fullness. Fullness is fullness of oneness. This is the state of consciousness that is rumored to be heaven, and actually is. Heaven can only be a state of consciousness. The world has the illusion of space and time. Heaven does not. Heaven is not illusion. Heaven is the truth of you. So oneness is the truth of you and the truth of all human beings. We could say there are two versions of you. There is the obvious one of you housed on earth in a body of one kind or another, and there is the subtle more savory version of you that lives eternally in infinity as one. On earth, you are squeezed into a body. You feel sequestered. Everything in the world tells you that you are separate. You may feel great loneliness, for you are adrift from your natural habitat even as you are not wholly certain that you truly exist at all. You may feel that you need protection from all the others who may ignore you or gang up on you. You are quite aware of a you and a them. At the same time, you likely feel a kind of wanderlust, yet you do not know what it is you seek. I tell you it is your very self you seek. The recognition you crave is of your very self. Being is incredible, and you are incredible being. You are gold, yet you may see yourself as dross, a kind of leftover from another time and place. You identify yourself far from the angels. You don't quite have the knowledge nor the courage to express and note your true self. In a way, you are like Moses in the bulrushes. He was taken care of, yet it wasn't until much later that he knew who he was. Of course, you are a being of God. You are my being. You are my inheritor, and you are my delight to behold. I behold you. In truth, you inherit the kingdom of God. You are beyond earth. You may think of DNA as a concern for detectives or as mere TV fare. There is a difference between a magnifying glass and a telescope. If you want a grand picture, look at me through a telescope. Look not for greatness in details, even as greatness exists everywhere. The greatness I speak of now takes a bigger picture. To look at vastness, look with your eyes open wide. Be far-sighted. Near-sightedness is of the past. Close inspection belongs to the field of science. You belong to the field of consciousness. Consciousness is my field. Everyone's consciousness comes from me. It was my joy to create you, yet you probably heard about me in many ways before you became acquainted with me. More or less, you stumbled on me. You were on and off. You weren't quite sure how to walk with the king of consciousness. You are finding out now. You are coming closer to my vision and knowing that it is also yours. You are coming closer to realizing true reality and accepting it as your own. Beloved, all that is mine is yours. My vision is yours. My heart is yours. My consciousness is yours. You are so near and dear to me that it is hard for you to accept. There is no need for you to wander off. We never say goodbye. Our love is never breached. Our love is always. It never departs. It is your own heart you ring. Come. Come now into my heart where you always are and always were. Welcome yourself. Admit yourself to heaven right now. Feel the delight of yourself walking in and being where you truly exist. All your fuss was for nothing because now it is most assuredly yourself that you will greet. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org